So tonight, I am making the difficult decision to suspend my campaign for the presidency. Pete Buttigieg dropping out of the race for the White House just two days before Super Tuesday. Tenure supporter Marie Cornell at the Registrar of Voters Office this morning. Marie, a local expert is saying this could have a major impact on the race. Yeah, he says this could give the other candidates the support they need to change the political dynamic. Now, today, Pete Buttigieg had a scheduled rally at San Isidro High School, uh, but in light of his announcement that has been canceled, the announcement, of course, that he was suspending his campaign. And there's a lot of questions about why he dropped out. Some political experts suggest he was not projected to do well on Super Tuesday and wanted to go out on a high note. Whatever the reason may be, experts say his departure may give other candidates a better chance to do well in the Democratic National Convention in July, possibly pushing other candidates where they need to be to take some delegates away from the front runner. So what happens if you've already sent in a ballot and voted for Buttigieg? Election officials say it will still be counted. Their name is on the ballot and we will count every vote that's cast. It's particularly meaningful for the number of votes that he got in terms of what that says about the support there. So if you haven't mailed in your ballot, but you had already marked it as a vote for Buttigieg, we are told if you show up to one of the polling locations and bring that ballot, they will give you a brand new one. Live from Curdy Mesa this morning, Marie Cornell, 10 News.